Hello, my name is Dan Swain, and today we're going to be talking about uh, the builder pattern, one of the creational uh, design patterns. Right, so imagine we've got a car, a car has wheels, it has an alarm, that's an alarm clock, <laughs> an engine, an engine size rather, V8, V6, whatever, that's an engine, and then does it have sat nav? That's not a sat nav icon, but never mind. So the point of the builder pattern is to separate the complex uh, object uh, construction construction complex from its representation and what that uh, means is imagine we've got um, a car type for example um, just get rid of that I'll start again so this car type has various properties or various parameters if you look at the constructor it's huge there's loads of bits to this type uh, it's quite a complex type to construct because it just has so many different uh, dependencies. Um, so what we can try and do is, well, if we were, for example, to new it up, yeah, that's kind of intimidating. I've, I've worked on several code bases where every type you need to new up, it just causes you nothing but grief. I think I've been playing with Nancy recently and is it I think one of the error types has a response on it which is just or an exception type really you know it has a response and it's rather annoying but um, now to make this easier what we can do is we can create a car builder here's one I created earlier should I say it's an abstract base class you cannot new this thing up directly I'll to say why uh, slightly later but we're using a fluent builder pattern on this one uh, so if you look, every one of these properties, or methods rather, uh, returns a car builder type and sets a private field. So um, it always returns this, and this is keeping the state of the, the method you've called. And you're, you, you know, it basically enables us to chain things together. So if you look at looking at this one, if you said the car builder has a make, we set the private field, or protected field rather, of make, and then we return this, which is a car builder. And this does give us, as I said, the, the chaining ability of the type. Um, yep, okay. So that's that's pretty cool. Now what this lets us do, wait one second. Where am I? Okay, now imagine we've got a Ford Fiesta builder. So we've got our abstract car builder. But say we want to build Ford Fiestas, all we need to do is inherit from the car builder. We know it's got, oh, and in the constructor of the Ford Fiesta builder, we can start to default some assumptions. So if you wanted to build a Ford Fiesta, for example, we know that obviously the make is going to be Ford, and we also know that the model is going to be Fiesta. We could also start to make some assumptions about what color, you know, if it had been a Model T, maybe we would have said the color is black always um, but that makes constructing this complex type you know simpler still um, there's our builder again so if we start to try and use this uh, you'll get a feel for what this looks like so imagine we want to new up a Ford Fiesta now normally it would require about a thousand different parameters onto the constructor never you know always an, an intimidating thing but now we just new up a Ford Fiesta builder and we can say, yep, I want an alarm. Uh, the Ford, the newing up of the Ford Fiesta builder has defaulted the make and model to Ford and Fiesta automatically because of the way we used uh, sort of the polymorphic behavior. Um, we can add doors, we can add sat nav. Uh, oh, this, you could get carried away here. <laughs> Engine, well, maybe not a V8 4 litre. Uh, 2.6, 2.7. Nine, eight, eight will do. Um, maybe uh, we can have a color, red. Yeah, red will do. But you can see how what this reads like. You know, we talk about maintainable and easily understood sort of what do they call like readable code almost, and this reads really nicely. I should also mention that um, one of the things in C sharp four in particular is it has optional parameters, so it could be that. We could do a similar, achieve a similar sort of goal for using um, optional parameters on the constructor. We can do that, but I just think that's a bit ugly. It doesn't read that well, and it's kind of like, oh, what's that defaulted to? It's a bit, 
It's a bit messy. I think this reads much more nicely to a consumer. Uh, I should probably also show you uh, the build method if we have a look at that. So this is on the abstract uh, car builder type and uh, all that does is the horrible it supplies the constructor of car with all the various uh, parameters and that's all we do really um, you know the fact uh, the builder is a it's a creational uh, design pattern and it just gives us sort of legible code and it does separate the construction of a type uh, from or a complex type in particular from um, the actual details of the type itself. Uh, that's all from me. Thanks a lot. Bye.